Today we have a whole bunch of old vintage salt and pepper shakers. I had someone who had requested that I do salt and pepper shakers. So this week at the auction, I was lucky enough to find a box full of salt and pepper shakers. And actually this is one of two videos on salt and pepper shakers, so stay tuned for the next one. But let me bring you what we have today. The one I find most interesting is these right here. Look at that. They say 1805 bird bottle in. Look at that. They're beautiful. And they are, let's see what's written underneath here. Actually has numbers. Look at that. Nap Napo where? Napo where? Napo where? Look at that. Missing its little piton on the bottom. But they actually are numbers. Look at this. C7161. Wow. Really cool. Vintage. 1805 it says. And if you look real close, you can see the patine of it all. Salt and pepper shakers. Same number to go with. Ah, this one's got that little bidon. So I'm only missing one. I can get them online. All right. So there we go. And that is beautiful. 1805 set. From the bird, bird bottle in. All right. We have a few of these really nice ones here. Got the salt and pepper shaker. It has the P on it for pepper. Look at that, it's the wrong side. Because this side don't have nothing written on. But if you look right on top, P is upside down. S, well, can never be upside down. <laughs> Either way, it is upside down too. Huh. Yeah, no, it's the right side. Look at the way the S is. And look at the P. The S is right to go with the front picture, but the P isn't. Isn't that something? Alright, well that cork's really messed up. And that one doesn't have a cork. And there's no markings as to where it comes from. But look at that. It's got a nice little gold rim around there. Remember the dishes that were like that? I remember them. You see them every now and then at a flea market. Cool. Alright, then we have these country style salt and pepper shaker. It's a rather rugged. What I found unique about this is they put the handle on both sides. The handle should have probably been on that side for salt and pepper. Because when you put them there, they're both hitting each other. It should be the opposite, kind of like this one is. Salt and pepper. Handles on opposite sides. So that should have been. They just made them all the same and then put the patent on it. Okay. There's no special markings underneath them. But they are pretty. Look at that. Alright. Then we have these. Salt and pepper. Look at that. Ain't they neat? No special markings underneath them. But... Yeah, really unique. It's got the extra indentation here for good gripping, should your hands be slippery, especially if you're having corn on the cob. It could be rather slippery here. Oh, there's a little something, a little tag underneath there. Let's see. There you go. That helps any of you collectors. Actually, from Japan, it says Reno. Reno product. Japan. Alrighty. Okay, and then we have some of these that simply have the flour. Really holds a lot of salt and pepper. No special markings on them. But they got three flowers all the way around. So you pretty much have a flower whichever way. But you set it. 
Yeah, no markings at all. All right. And of course we have the holiday season type. Gingerbread man. And there's no markings for him either. Isn't he cute? Look at that. Look at all the pastries. All the cookies, the stars, the donuts, donut holes. He's just full of it. Very festive little ones here. Look at that. Aren't they cute? They're just so adorable. Definitely an eye catcher for any kid. All right. Well, I hope you've enjoyed my bringing these to you. Of course, these two are my favorite out of the group. So, hope you've enjoyed my salt and pepper shakers. All right. So I always ask my audience and stuff some of the things they like, and someone wanted toys, so those are a little bit harder to get because they really bid up high for that. And one lady asked for salt and pepper shakers. So, here's the salt and pepper shakers, part one. There's another video coming up, salt and pepper shakers. The next one's just strange, unique. These are nice, typical, classy. The other ones are just odd. All right. Be sure to sub me now, okay? Bye-bye.